Hey everyone, Orbitami Entertainment here. Today we're going to cover the Pack System Help Guide. Let's do this. <laughs> Once you have imported the pack system from the Unity Asset Store, the first thing you want to do is go to Assets, then Orbitami Entertainment, then Pack System, and then Add to Scene. Now you will see the pack system in the hierarchy, and let's go ahead and select it now. Taking a look at the inspector, we can see the pack system, and I will take a quick moment to cover the settings. The first option is Show Pack System Control Panel. This is a very important option because the control panel houses the main functionality of the system and it contains the system core settings. Let's go ahead and select this now. Next we have the System Adds Colliders at Creation option. This option will add a collider to your prefabs at creation if your prefabs do not already have a collider. If your prefabs have a mesh filter component, then the system will add a mesh collider. Otherwise, the system will add a box collider. Next, we have the Avoid Collisions option. This will prevent created objects from colliding with each other and any other objects in the scene that have been placed by the pack system. Next, we have the Parent to Surface option. This will parent the created objects to the referenced surface in the inspector. Next, we have the notification sound. The system comes with a default sound, but you are welcome to assign your own WAV or MP3 file here. The notification sound is used when the system displays the notification window, when errors occur, or the developer needs to be aware of something while using the system. Next, we have the surface. As I mentioned just a moment ago about the parent to surface option, the surface can be any object in the scene that has a collider. And lastly, we have the pack system prefab categories. This is where you will assign the prefabs that you want to use with the system. Let's go ahead and add a category now. And for this video, we will name it trees. Then let's add a prefab by adding an array element to the prefabs array. We are going to name this prefab Maple Tree Zero. Now we need to locate the prefabs folder inside the pack system folder, and we are going to drag this prefab here, Maple Tree Zero, over into the inspector for the prefab reference. All right, perfect. Now, let's take a look at the pack control panel and cover the system core settings. The first thing we see is the system mode. The system mode by default will be set to idle. When you are ready to create objects in the scene, this setting will need to be set to create mode. This is to prevent unwanted creation of objects while working in the scene. Next, we have the active prefab category setting. The drop-down menu for this option will be populated based on what you have defined inside the Pack System Prefab Categories array inside the inspector. Now we have the sea level. The sea level is used by the system in accordance with the sea level mode you have chosen for your prefab settings. Next we have the mass placement section of the core settings. Mass placement is automatically detected by the system when the create amount is greater than one. Inside the mass placement settings, we can see the placement radius and the minimum neighbor distance. The placement radius is the total size of the field range used by the system. For an example, if you define a value of 100 for the placement radius, the system will go out 50 on the Z axis and 50 on the X axis to create the field range then the system will pick random points within this field range to place your objects down on the surface. 
The minimum neighbor distance is not a static value in which the objects will be placed from each other. What this setting does is prevent any of the created objects from being any closer than the defined value. Next, we have the Auto Adjust Minimum Neighbor Distance checkbox. If you decide to use this feature, the system will set the minimum neighbor distance to be 5% of the placement radius. I would like to briefly cover the rest of the pack control panel now. As you can see, most of the settings are self-explanatory. However, I would like to cover in detail one of the options. The one I would like to go over with you is the height mode setting in the Edit All Active Prefab Category Settings section. Inside the height mode drop-down, we can see at point and click, static height from surface, height range from surface, and world space height range. The at point and click option will place a single object at the point clicked or multiple objects within the defined placement radius of the point clicked with the object's height being snapped to the surface. The static height from surface option will place the objects to the defined value of the static height. So if a value of one is set as the static height for the prefab settings, the system will place all of the objects one unit from the surface. The height range from surface is similar to the static height from surface option. However, the objects will be placed within the surface range minimum and surface range maximum that is defined in the prefab settings. Lastly, we have the world space height range. This option will place the object's height in world space and not relevant to the surface local height. At this point, we have assigned one of the prefabs included with the pack system into the pack system prefab categories array. Let's use the edit all active prefab categories section of the control panel to define the settings for the trees category and prefab we have added. Let's check the box use item. We are going to use a create amount of 500. Next, we are going to check the box for random scale. This will work nicely since we are using trees. The system default values for the random scale minimum and random scale maximum will be fine. Let's set the rotation mode to random Y. We are also going to use the system default values for the random rotation minimum and the random rotation maximum, as well as using the default height mode of at point and click. The default sea level mode is fine as well. Now, let's click the button apply settings and we will see the settings applied in the inspector to our prefab maple tree zero. If you have not placed a surface in your scene yet, then either add a unity terrain or an object with a collider on it into the scene. Once your surface is in the scene, make sure to drag the surface over into the inspector for the surface to be utilized for parenting in the future. The surface I am using has dimensions of 512 by 512. I'm going to set the placement radius in the pack control panel to 512. For the minimum neighbor distance, I'm going to use a value of 3. Keep in mind, if you are using a plane or object that is flat and is not a terrain, you will need to adjust the height of your surface to be above the sea level since your current prefab setting for the sea level mode is set to above sea level only. Or adjust your sea level to be lower than the height of your surface, otherwise you may receive an error from the system. This is because the height of your surface is the same as the sea level. In this video, you can see I am using a Unity terrain, and the lake is set to my defined sea level of zero, with the remainder of the terrain above sea level. Now, let's place some objects in the scene. While holding down shift and clicking the right mouse button, click on your surface and we will see the system place our maple trees down. Since we are mass creating for this example, I'm going to click in the center of my surface to cover the span of my surface. If one or more of the objects have been placed in a fashion that you do not like, then you can simply hold shift and click right mouse button on the object to remove it from the scene. And the pack system object pools will be updated automatically. If all of the objects have been placed down in a fashion that you do not like, then use the remove all active button located in the pack control panel. 
This will remove all of the objects in the scene relevant to the active prefab category. When using the Remove Everything from the Scene button, the system will only remove objects that were placed by the pack system and you will be prompted before continuing with this action. This concludes the Pack System Free Edition Help Guide. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please locate the PDF included in the documentation folder of the Pack System. Please visit Orbitami.com and the Orbitami YouTube channel for more information on game developments and assets. Until next time, much love. Orbitami Entertainment.